Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Megan. I make videos every Friday. Today's video, as you can tell from the thumbnail, it is just a cleaning day. I actually cleaned the whole house, but I'm saving the other videos because this video was already way too long. I did steal some cuddles in between because I can't force my dog not to give me cuddles while she's just being cute, you know? But I hope you enjoy the video and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to. I would really appreciate it. I'm just vacuuming the couches and I saw this viral hack. It actually came through my Instagram, not TikTok, but it's from TikTok. To wash the couches with a detergent pod. These couches really are overdue for cleaning. I've decided I'm gonna give these couches a very good scrubbing. So I'm gonna try this hack and see if it works. <laughs> I've got my bluish looking liquid. I've got a microfiber cloth and a regular dry cloth so I can wipe after I've wiped with the wet cloth. I'm gonna block this whole area off for them to dry and because it's still winter it's not the most ideal time to be doing this but I want the couches to be smelling fresh and nice feel like this area has been power washed with a washing machine pod <laughs> and because this is lavender it's gonna smell fresh and new so let's give this a go I've tried my very 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 best to get all the fur off of the couch it's pretty much impossible it sticks like glue, but I've done the best I could. Got our blue liquid. Bring out as much of the stuff as I can. I'm gonna wrap it around my hand. <laughs> Here we go. I don't know how many times you're supposed to wipe, but I'm giving it a go. Back and forth. It has been a while since these couches have been cleaned. They were steamed at one point by us, but anyway. And then I'm gonna take my dry cloth and just go over the area, just to collect any wetness. And I'm probably gonna go through the areas of quite a bit just to get off any stains or anything. Anyway, let's get going. When I tell you this trick, this hack works so well, it works so well. These couches were full of old stains. I'm gonna be frank with you, when our cat was sick, you know, there was a few sick marks, even though we tried to get them out originally with cleaning products made for suede, they weren't coming out. And the Tide Pod thing really did the trick. The old stains are all out, which was amazing. And the couches were left smelling like lavender. It was the best. I will say doing this, um, you will see later on in the video, I actually use plastic bags over my hands to tr clean the couches further because the, the Tide Pod stuff was eating through my hands. The chemicals were just making my hands raw. So eventually you'll see I'm using like a spray bottle. I found one and I was like, maybe I should just spray the couches. It might just be a bit easier than me constantly dipping my hands into water. Gotta find these little hacks. But overall, the trick really does work.
updates, the couch looks so good and it smells just amazing. The smell of lavender is filling the room and I'm so happy about it. I got all of the stains out. <laughs> There were quite a few. I haven't done the back of the couch, obviously, and I've only done the front, the back bits, and the arms, and the down the arms, um, and all of the other crevices, but this is pretty good. I'm pleasantly surprised that this actually worked. Thank you, TikTok people. Now I'm gonna do the rest of the couches, and then I'm gonna vacuum, and I'm, I'm actually curious if a Tide Pod would work in a carpet cleaner. I'm actually thinking I might try it on my carpet, my little rug that I have, or try it on one of these rugs that we have in here, just to see if it works. I, I'm just curious. You never know. I don't know if it's just me, let me know down in the comments, but I can't clean without listening to something or watching something. So this day that I was filming, I should have turned the television off when I was filming, but I completely forgot. I was in my own world and I was enjoying myself. So I was watching Married With Children, very, very funny. Love the show. I don't like there being this silence while I'm doing things, but uh, whatever.
I don't know if it's just my dog, but my dog likes to attack the, the the vacuum cleaner. She doesn't like the vacuum cleaner. You'll notice that I do stop when she like tries to bite and she does. She tries to grab and then pull. She thinks it's a huge game or either she thinks it's a giant monster and is trying to eat me. I don't know. It's, it's just the cutest thing on the planet. This whole process took me at least four hours because I waited for the couches to dry. I thought it was going to take at least a day or two for them to dry. I was completely wrong. Obviously because you don't saturate the couches when you're cleaning them that they don't need a lot of time to dry. Plus I left a heater on in the lounge to help keep the warmth. So the couches didn't need all that much time to dry. So by the time I had walked the dog, made food, came back, started moving them, they were pretty much dry and I could actually put the blankets back on but they were still in the washer so there was no way I was going to do that. I've been wanting to move these couches for months and months and months and months and nobody was doing it so while my folks were away I took the opportunity to move the couches and just that slight movement of everything or just a little bit slightly to the right made all the difference to the room itself. Just that little bit of extra feng shui. final section of finishing off the cleaning makes me laugh because I started putting everything away and then Penny looks at me as if I'm, I don't know, I don't know why she looked at me like that. Stay tuned for my other videos because there will be more, there will be more of me just cleaning. I just love to clean. Penny was tired by the end of the day. She had done a lot of work. I feel for her. Okay, I have finally finished cleaning the lounge. I feel good. It smells good in here. I'm just waiting for the blankets to dry. I gave the lounge a nice vacuum, polished everything. I feel happy. I also uh, made sure all the, the like stuff was placed in a good place. Yeah. <laughs> Got the candle out. I'm very happy. It looks so much better than what it did before. Someone's tired. Why are you tired? So I'll start on this side. I decided to put the lemons and oranges in here because I just think it adds a bit of pop of colour alongside the pillows that my mom went crazy and bought a bunch of. But this looks so much better here. The lighting just catching on the, the curtain is just so nice. As you saw, I moved all of the couches over. I'll explain why in a minute. But this is what it looks like. I'm very happy. My brother's got his graduation photos over, over on that side and I've got mine over there. So I moved the couches over because this table used to be like in front of the cabinet and it was driving me nuts and nobody was fixing it and now while my folks are away I have fixed it. It has made 
the couches go a bit of an odd way but it's so much better than what it was before I hate that we have a giant gap behind here but I we did put it to good use and the dog's toys are behind there it's just a very awkward gap and we can't have the couches too close to one another because the, the feet come out so there's that but I'm happy the couches are super clean uh, so yeah I fixed that I made a little cubby for all my dad's wires and chargers and stuff because this is like where he sits can't do much about this corner currently because it's winter well it's actually meant to be spring but it's still kind of cold so the plants are currently indoors waiting to go outside so the two avocado trees are having a grand old time I just watered all these bad boys but I will clean this section when we're able to get these guys outside and then obviously we've got the that's still a mess I'm still trying to figure out what we're gonna do with that but we've now got the I've now put the remotes on there I just think it looks so much more coherent it's gonna be slightly more but that is my cat's ashes <laughs> she is waiting for her lemon tree we're getting her a lemon tree to plant her in the candle going the rest of the coasters are sitting on there it just it gives me such homey feelings and I feel so happy we'll go to bed now that is the end of the video guys I hope you enjoyed it I know that I need to do a full clean where it's slow but I hope you enjoyed the video and I shall see you in the next one bye guys I'm waving by the way <laughs>